What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be going over what I think the best class loadouts are for knifing and melee in Modern Warfare, as well as the controller settings that I use for melee and knifing. Before we get started, if this video helps you out at all, please leave it a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to come hang out and play, I stream on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. So if you want to come hang out and play, please do. Links to my Xbox gamer tag, Activision gamer tag, and Twitch channel are below. All right, now we'll get into the weapon loadouts. Go over here to weapons, edit loadouts, and this is my primary knifing class. So what I use for the primary, I use crossbow. Some guys use riot shield, but I really want to get away from using it. Uh, it is a an actual it is an actual melee weapon so to speak but I find it kind of cheap sometimes so I like to stick to the crossbow I don't use the crossbow all that much but I do want to get the obsidian for it one of these days so yeah that's the primary secondary obviously is any sort of knife or axe if you have the axe these are the knives I have right now obviously the axe there and just a few knives at the moment because you have to buy them in this game <laughs> it's really really sucks all right, so primary weapon, secondary weapon, and now the perks, which are the most important, I think. So scavenger for perk one is pretty much all you're going to want to do. Resupplies ammo from dead players. Scavenger packs provide throwing knives, which is what you want. Now, perk number two, I use ghost. So undetectable by UAVs, radar drones, and heartbeat sensors. So you're hidden, you know, they pop a UAV and you're hidden. You can still run around undetected. Uh, some guys will use restock, which re recharges your equipment over 25 seconds. Throwing knives can recharge one extra knife. So that's kind of nice. And for perk number three, I use amped. So faster weapon swap and rocket launcher reload speed, which doesn't really apply. Uh, does not affect swapping to pistols and uh, combat knives most equipment is used faster that's the most important part some people don't see a difference but i do uh, in the throwing knives so most equipment is used faster i think the throwing knives are a lot faster if you're a knifer in the other call of duty games you'll you'll find that this game is quite slow with the throwing knives so you want to use amped some some guys will use shrapnel so you spawn with an extra extra throwing knife uh, so you always have two every time you die or some guys will also use tracker which you know you can see the uh, enemy footprints that they leave behind but most most guys will either go with shrapnel or amped i prefer amped and then if you want to go even further into the specialist part department here uh, so if you activate specialist you're you don't you no longer get scores or uh, kill streaks and like U uavs or chopper gunners that sort of thing this this replaces it so you what i would i put on here for the specialist i put tracker if i get two kills uh four kills will get me restock uh, and a restock again was recharges equipment over 25 seconds and then for the six kills if i get that far i will uh, ch i choose eod take reduced damage from non kill streak explosives and fire and when picking up frag grenades the re the set uh sorry uh, resets the fuse so you get the full time you, you probably won't die if you pick up a, a grenade uh, so that's pretty much it for the perks there those are the ones I use mainly now for the lethal obviously you're gonna want throwing knives and if you purchase the pyromaniacs pack you get flaming throwing knives which are really really cool I did a video on that last week so if you want to check that out really really cool addition that they added and for tactical you can pretty much pick whatever you want here i choose usually flash grenade stun grenade uh, some guys will use the heartbeat sensor especially if they're playing on war zone or stim so they can refresh themselves if they get shot it's a good one so you can pretty much pick whatever one here that you'd like it won't affect won't affect the melee at all uh, depends on your play style so now let's go back to another loadout i have here so this is my throwing knife class so if i want to run around smaller maps with throwing knives or I'm, i i want to practice with my throwing knives uh, the primary weapon is the same secondary weapon is the same but the perks are different so i still use specialist so i have those three extra classes there but for the throwing knife class i use scavenger again so perk number one is always scavenger 
Uh, perk number two, restock. So you recharge your equipment over 25 seconds. Throwing knives can recharge one extra knife. And decoy grenades and stim recharge twice as fast. That might be a good one if you want if you're using a stim for your uh, tactical. And perk number three is shrapnel. Spawn with an extra piece of lethal equipment. Explosive damage delays enemy health regeneration. Regeneration delay is three seconds. So potentially, you know, you have your scavenger, uh, you got your restock, so you have, or sorry, you have your shrapnel, so you have two knives when you respawn. And if you kill a guy, you scavenger pack drops a throwing knife, so you'll kill three throwing knives potentially. And then you can pick whatever you want here for specialist, whatever, whatever sort of gameplay you want to go with. I love amped, so I always have amped in there as close as possible so I get two kills and I'll get amped again so the throwing knives are quicker. So that's pretty much it for class number two. Go back here. Throwing knife and, and the tactical are the same. The lethal and tactical are the same. Uh, now let's go down to my backup class. So if I'm having a tired day I'll throw the riot shield on, my axe, and the perks that I use. So perk number one I always use scavenger. Perk number two I'll throw ghost on. And perk number three, I'll throw shrapnel on. So I have always have two throwing knives when I respawn. And then if I end up getting two kills, I'll have amped again. So that's my kind of my tired class if I'm knifing. This is actually a really good class if you're just starting out. I, I use it most most of the time if, if I'm having a, a bad day. But I, I don't really like using the rat shield. But if you are just starting out and meleeing, I won't hate you for using it. <laughs> and yeah so this again is my primary class now let's get over to my controller settings and i'll show you what works best in modern warfare for knifing and melee so we'll just push start here oh no we'll go back then push start it'll come up with the option settings so in the controller settings you have your button layout preset so i didn't know this up until a little while ago and my buddy uh, Zip Chaos, he's an he's an awesome streamer as well. So if you want to check him out, he also streams on Twitch. Zip Chaos, he showed me about this, and it works awesome, especially for knifing. So what it basically does is you see there B changes from prone or crouch, prone, and slide to melee only, and then right stick. When you push it down this is on xbox by the way uh it probably won't be much different for ps4 uh, so if you push down on the right stick use the default settings is melee uh but the tactical is crone crone crouch prone and slide so you never have to take your fingers off of the sticks which works awesome it's it's an amazing thing uh, another thing though, you'll, it's, it's hard to get used to. It took me uh, 10 to 20 games to get used to. Uh, it might, might take you a little bit less, uh, but that's how long it took me. Another thing is, is when you're in tactical, the actual melee is changed to left trigger. So it's either B or left trigger. Uh, the left trigger works way better. It doesn't say that here though, does it? Right trigger left trigger aim down sight yeah so melee is actually changed i don't know why it doesn't say that here but if you're using a knife anyway uh, left trigger is changed to melee now that we have our controller changed to tactical there's one more thing that you're going to want to do as a melee player in multiplayer you're not going to want to do this in warzone but if we go to general i believe it's in the general section I'm probably wrong. It's probably in the controller section. Go down, down. Movement. There it is. Sorry. Uh, go to, yeah, automatic sprint. So usually it's disabled uh, for, for melee players uh, on multiplayer. Unless you're a really sneaky, you don't want to run all the time. You're going to want to change it to automatic sprint. That's what I have on. Uh, you can have automatic tactical sprint on, but I find that to be a bit too much. So I have automatic sprint on. Now in Warzone, you're gonna want to turn this off because you're gonna be want to, you're gonna want to be more tactical, and you're not gonna want to make a lot of noise in Warzone. So I always turn it off if I'm playing Warzone. 
So that's pretty much it for my controller layout and weapon layout in Call of Duty Modern Warfare for knifing and melee. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. For now, I'm going to get into a game with my favorite lo loadout and see what we can do. So let's filter out a game. Actually, let's play some shoot the ship. They finally got that back. Let's play that. All right, guys. Thank you very much and have a great day.